Welcome back, Mech Warriors, to the last of our burst episodes before we can actually get back to the story related stuff. So today, I, well, I guess this, all these episodes should come out on the same day. They might not, though. We're going to be piloting the Phoenix Hawk and then the Firestarter, which is a light mech for a change. Oh my. Very fast paced, quick battle mechs, very aggressive battle mechs. But a little lower, lighter on the armor, so we got to be a little more careful. We are currently at Barlow's End, still working for the Dragon. I'm going to put a little more on repairs this time around, just because, you know, I we, we might take a little more damage. Let's go for 10 salvage, and let's see what we got. I think for the assassination, I'm going to take the Phoenix Hawk. So here we go. The Phoenix Hawk, I'm going to take, let's bring in uh, you as well. Um, I want the trebuchet to support, I want the blackjack, and, um, hunchback? Nope, hunchback's too heavy. Um, I don't want to use the fire star, well, what about the javelin? There we go, the javelin fits, and let me add in the crab. No, the centurion, a pretty balanced mech. A little bit of everything here. And so with the Phoenix Hawk, the, uh, the way I've designed the Phoenix Hawk is I reduce some of its mobility by taking off its jump jets in order to harden its armor. So my version of the Phoenix Hawk can take more damage than usual, but uh, it's still not like some of the other mechs. So I still need to rely on its speed a bit. But if I do get hit, it's not the end of the world because like I said, I have hardened its armor. The we Phoenix Hawk- online. Sensors online. It is kind Weapons of an opportunist online. kind of mech. All systems nominal. I like how you can see it's a little like gun. Okay, so have given our employer nothing but problems. We have been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. So I don't want to go too fast. I'm going to go at like a, a steady 58 kilometers because I do believe we have a... If I could see him back there. I think the Centurion is with us. And because of that, that means that our that the whole Lance's best speed is or the Lance's marching speed is basically 60 61, 64 kilometers. So we'll take it nice and easy, but once I see it at any enemies, I am definitely going to or once I see a concentration of enemies, I will throttle up to an attack speed, because speed is one of this mech's advantages. What do we got here? Got a turret. Alright, I'm going to start throttling up. Want to try to stay in cover where possible? Got that one. Going to weave around a little bit. Just try to keep them off of me. Whoa, 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 that's uh, Manticore, most likely. Gonna get in closer now, because this mech does like to raid targets. Looking for whatever shot those LRMs. All right, let's get in close with the machine guns. There we go. Like I said, very much more, much faster paced mech. Nothing wrong with that though, it just means we gotta be a little more agile. That's the end of that one. So basically, what I want ideally is for the other enemies to. The other, I want the enemies to see my allies first, and then I kinda sneak past them. And then I raid them. That's kind of the strategy on this mech. Now this mech also can suffer from heat problems. But we got our machine guns, which don't generate any heat. Which I'm now going to... Oh, I didn't quite get them there. Gonna try to stay behind this mech in order to like kind of harass them. 
trying to stay behind him so that he can't really get a shot on me. Now he's so weak that it doesn't matter. Let's get this LRM carrier if we can. Hurt him pretty bad, but it's going to take a second shot. Got him. Go after the javelin next. So as you can see, this nice large laser that we've got allows us to kind of like pick away at people at a distance. But where we get our real damage is when we get a chance to actually get up close on targets. That's the end of them. Oh, you know you don't like that when the uh, when the enemy mech you're fighting is just as fast as you. Well, I'm not just as fast as that mech, but. Watch it now. My last kill is about to explode. Okay. Let's fall back to our marching speed and we'll move on. That's basically what you're trying to do with this mech. This mech wants to get in close to start doing the damage. But it has the option to kind of pick away at people with the large laser, but it would like to get in close and start chewing you up with those machine guns and the medium lasers. But it doesn't want to lead the attack. Even though I'm in front of the lance, I, I am not afraid to kind of begin combat and then run away and wait for the enemies to kind of lose track of me and then jump in there into the dog pile. That's kind of like no problem at all doing that. Looks like we're going to have to kind of follow this area. Because I don't have jump jets, nor do my allies, and I don't want a chance just kind of like, you know, running down that area. There's a lot of, like, civilian buildings in this area. Oh, what do we got here? That's the end of that thing. Not paying enough attention. Oh, got a pop-up turret. Al allies are quick on the draw. Like, they got a, they got a quick finger, don't they? They're just like, oh, the moment something pops up, they zippity-zap it really quick. Oh, that's a vehicle. Beginning the raid. That's the end of you. Got a urban mech. Don't want him shooting at me. Let's see. I'm looking for some cover to kind of utilize. The enemy is a crab. Hopefully I can, like, get behind him a little bit. Here we go. Might go for his leg and try to basically cripple the mech. Oh man, we just like we just chewed him up. That was nasty. Good job. Let's finish these guys off just because we can. Really? What are you, some kind of loser? That's the end of him. Oh, it's the javelin. That's the problem. He's not using his speed to his advantage like I am. So he's taking, or he's probably like leading the attacks just because he's the fa he's a faster battle mech. So he's like, oh, I'm faster, so I'm gonna go in first. It's okay to go in first if you're a faster battle mech, but then you need to like go around and not not be the center of it. It's, if you're a faster battle mech, you cannot be the center of attention. That's just not. It's just not what you want to do. Which is typically why I prefer my allies to use, you know, better armored battle mechs. Generally speaking. But there you go. Like I said, pretty, pretty fun mech. I think you'll agree. But it requires a different play style because you just cannot take the kind of damage that other mechs can. 
need to be a little patient, need to rely on your allies a little bit. But if you do, then, you know, like I said, you could do a lot of... And like I said, just because those weapons don't seem like very... Like, it's not like the AC-20 where it just, like, batters enemies until they fall. They're not, not always necessary. Don't, you don't always need that kind of strategy. Just buy down the list of all the really good stuff. Or the expensive stuff. There we go again. So Karina says, a job well done. We hope to work together again in the future. Mark our words. We will have our revenge. So the javelin lost both of its arms, but everyone else is okay. Even though the javelin lost both of its arms, the cost is pretty low, which means the weapons weren't destroyed. The weapons are in the chest in the uh, javelin, so it probably did not matter. So nothing big. We're, we're going to go ahead and repair here just because the repair bill isn't that big of a deal. And we have to go to a different planet anyways. So yeah, we did, it just lost the arms, no damage anywhere else. And we're just going to head over, I think, to here. Yep, another combine mission, so we'll take it. And this is what I mean by, I don't always go back to the industrial district just because, you know, if I'm hopping from planet to planet, it's not a big deal. Now you'll get to see the fire starter. The fire starter is a lot like the Phoenix Hawk, but taken to a, like a greater extreme. And we're gonna raid. Let's take um, ten is probably good enough. Actually, no, that's fine. Yeah, we'll take basically one million C bills. We'll negotiate for ten salvage shares, and we've got like basically three hundred fifty thousand damage coverage. That seems pretty good to me. So let's... Now we're going to use the last mech that we haven't tried out. And that would be the Firestarter. Firestarter, also very fun mech. Uh, now that I'm using an even lighter mech, it's okay for my allies to... Let, let me, like, let me, I want to pick something that he needs training in. He needs training in auto cannons, so I'm going to let him use the Hunchback, the standard Hunchback, with the heavy-duty AC-20. Maybe he'll get some kills and raise his ballistic skill. This guy needs a little bit of everything, so... Um, the Centurion, maybe? And the Phoenix Hawk doesn't quite fit. Send him back out in the Javelin. Wait, we can go... 10 tons heavier. Why doesn't the Phoenix Hawk fit? Am I not mathing correctly? Am I just a big... Dumb doo-doo head. There we go. It's a slightly heavier team. So we got the Blackjack, the Hunchback, the Phoenix Hawk, two fast mechs, a support mech, and a heavy-duty mech. Uh, this is our slowest mech. Actually, the, 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 the Blackjack and the Hunchback have the same speed of about 12, 64 kilometers, so that's our running speed. This mech runs at 97 Okay, so the Phoenix Hawk and the, and the Firestarter both run at 97. The Firestarter has 240 armor, Phoenix Hawk has 288, so uh, a little thinner on the armor. But on the other hand, the Firestarter is even deadlier than the Phoenix Hawk in close combat. And that's because the Firestarter, I believe he has two machine guns and four flamethrowers and two medium lasers. So once he gets up close, he's going to chew people up really nasty. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This is a surgical strike, Commander. Our client wants us to take out a number of structures within this vicinity. Scout the points marked on your map and identify the specific buildings our client wants destroyed. Then take them out. Okay, then. I guess that's what we're going to go do, then. So let's see, time to throttle, well, let's not throttle up too much, I forgot we've got some allies that aren't very quick. Already got a contact, not sure what it is, oh, we just lost it. Once again, here I am leading the attack just because, uh, they, they, you know, they're following me. Scorpion light tank, don't really want to fight it. Post that guy real quick. Uh, I got some cover over here, so I don't mind kind of just going in here and messing these guys up. 
<laughs> the flamethrowers are really cool, aren't they? Let's just thin out these things. Oh, I squished that tank on accident. Not sure if that does damage to my leg armor or not. Okay, battle mech. Still don't really want to get into a fight. I'm going to kind of like stay evasive, just kind of swerve around a little bit. Okay, looks good. I'm going to start getting in here. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm going to thin some of these other targets out. Little bit of raiding going on. Oh yeah. I love just running around destroying things at the fire starter. I, I like this mech a lot in the strategy game. I just want to destroy this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't even care if it's not part of the objective. Like just give me a freaking break. I just want to destroy stuff. Yeah, I got some contacts over here. What the heck are you guys doing here? I'm gonna try to move perpendicular to them. Kind of move at an angle to try to shake a little bit of their shots off. Something's shooting a PPC at me. Got a panther. Kind of gonna try to swing behind him. Gonna target his PPC arm. Got his arm. Now we're just going to toast this guy. That's the end of him. Chestnuts under roasting under over roasting over an open fire. Can't even speak tonight. What's going on? Probably getting tired. Getting tired. Damage is okay. Oh wait, I'm, I'm going too fast. Let me let me let everyone catch up. I'll go. I'll I'll, I'll go at a steady forty for now. What's that? All right, I'm gonna speed up. Coming around the rocks. Got him. Got him. Where are we headed now? Kind of heading towards the crater area. I'm gonna probably go over here into cover. And then I'm going to, oh, what's that? Oh gosh, they got an AC too. Which means it's got really good range. Got it. Get this crap out of my face. Burn! It, it, this mech is a lot of fun to play with. I'm not going to be the first to tell you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm going to go inside and break all your stuff! All right, I'm gonna just go around the perimeter and just clean up all the turrets and whatnot. Oh, got a tank. Gotcha. All right, I'm going in now. Destroying all the fuel. This isn't even the objective. I'm just doing it anyways. Got a turret right there. Got it. I like how two medium lasers is just good enough to destroy some of the the weaker targets. This would be, oh my god, can you think how fun this mech would be to use in like a, um, a demolition mission where I have to like just level the whole base? Oh my god, I am, I am so going to do that. That is such, that's like a brilliant idea. Oh my god. That's like a geyser? What are we in, like Yellowstone National Park? I'm just going to destroy this stuff because I can. How's my machine? Oh, I got plenty of machine gun ammo. Why even? Oh, wait, let's go this way. I actually like the idea of going this way. Target also, I need to. I need to let everyone catch up too. All right, boys, warm up. That turret? No. There's the target. Oh, got to throttle up. Can't let the enemies get a lock on me. Didn't quite get them. What do we got here? Got a little annoying little mech. Just gonna start disabling all these little 
defensive things. Raid the enemy base. Let my allies take care of that locust. Yeah! Really? Are you getting your butt kicked by a locust? All target buildings have been destroyed, Commander. Good job. Getting you an evac now. Oh my god, I just want to destroy everything in here. Oh yeah! Oh, that's gonna be so much fun on a. That's going to be so so fun on a demolition. Okay, so who got beat up? I, I just got to see real destroyed. fast. I did a damage report on the blackjack. Lost an arm, so he lost one of my AC twos. Thank you for nothing, you loser. Getting beat up by a weak enemy. And my blackjack has harder armor, too, because I took its jump jets off. What a loser. Can't trust your allies to pilot these mechs unless they've got, like, really heavy armor. It's like, they've got good aim, but, like, they just don't have good decision-making. That's the issue. That's, once again, you'd ask the question, why would you play the strategy game over the action game? I mean, you can play them both. I, I'm doing it right now, playing them both. But one of the reasons you play the strategy game is because you can just execute way more complicated strategies with the same battle mechs. Let's just take the good stuff, everything that's expensive, right down the list. Don't, don't even care what it is. So House Karina says, excellent, the invasion will be easy now. House Davion says, I know it's not your fault, mercenary. Maybe we should hire you and send you after House Karina instead. Maybe. Oh man, we really balanced out on our damage coverage. It's a little bit higher, but overall pretty good. So yeah, we did lose a weapon there. Everyone else in decent shape. I don't know what happened to the blackjack. Probably had an ammo explosion. That might be my guess on it. Bear, look at the barely any damage on the on the 10,000 C bills of damage on the fire starter. Despite being a fragile battle mech, I mean, I guess there's less armor to dead. No, look, look at my condition, though. Just snuck around really nicely. Blew up all... And look at that, like, I've got a ton of... I mean, I destroyed a lot of unimportant... I destroyed 18 turrets and 9 vehicles, because, like I said, I'm going on the raid. But I think you'll agree that it's effective. Like I said, very fun battle mech. Go ahead and repair all of these guys. This guy had component loss, so we're going to need to do a more complex repair job. So let's go ahead and add in another AC2, add another medium laser. And his repair job, definitely a bit more expensive. Still not going to go to an industrial hub, though. At any rate, you have seen all of the battle mechs, at least in one battle. Let me know, which ones did you think were the best out of which one would... If you were playing the game of all the battle mechs I just played, which one would you want to pilot. If I had to pick only a, f a few of these battle mechs, I'm, uh, only one, that'd be kind of hard. I, I don't know, it'd be tough. I really like the Kintaro. Really fast. Delivers incredible pain with the missiles. I love the Krat. Krat, amazing medium mech. Just fast enough, you know, not, not slow, not going to get frustrated with the slow speeds. Great range with the double large lasers. Like, 288, pretty thick armor, almost 300 armor. You know, doesn't crumple up when it gets shot. Only weakness is the, the heat can get a bit crazy. But, you know, you gotta have some kind of a weakness. Love the Kintaro, though. Like I said, 368 armor. Hev heavily armored battle mech. Still has heat issues as well. Runs really fast. The other mech I'd probably use is the Hunchback, the, uh, the standard one. I really like the laser one as well. But I really like the Hunchback with the auto cannon. It's just, just the brutal impact of the AC-20. Beautiful. But I, I, I also like the fire starter. Really fun mech. Just love going in there and just burning things. Extremely fun battle mech. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. Like this video if it was entertaining. And after that, we're going to be going over to some story missions. 
But yeah, subscribe for future MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.